Alright, on a bus, ready to go to Vienna from Spechat. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, we stopped over here the, for the evening to see our previous video. We're joined again today by Kyle. He's not gone anywhere, my brother in law. So, uh, yeah. People. And uh, of course, Tammy. Hello. So, we are uh, on the bus getting ready. We're going to, what's this place called, Kyle? Let's have a look. Wien Oberla. So, we decided to get a bus because it's uh, it was one of the quickest ways of getting there. So. Heading into the centre, we're gonna have a look around. We check into our um, into our apartment at uh, two p.m. So currently it's like eleven a.m. Yeah. It's got a couple of hours yet, but uh, yeah, we're gonna head over there now. I'm gonna have a look on this rainy day in Austria. Join us. All right, so turns out that <laughs> the place that we've gone, Orbala, is uh, kind of, well, in, in the middle of nowhere as well. <laughs> it's not in the middle of nowhere. We're not too far. So we've got to go and get a metro. Not a metro, sorry, my apologies. We need to go and get a, I know the word in German, U-Bahn. U-Bahn? Is it U-Bahn? Uh, a um, tram. We need to go get a tram. Um, into the centre. So uh, we're heading now onto this random little back street <laughs> and uh, hopefully we're going to go and see Vienna shortly. Interesting story. This is Tammy's fault by the way. Interesting story. Yeah, Tammy. It is my fault. Interesting story. Let's just get your phone up. I don't know if we can show show everyone. All right, we're taking directions via Google Map. That's how we, that's how we do things generally when we're in a new place. And... Uh, we need to go there. Let me just have a let me just quickly flip it over so you can see. So we need to go there. We need to go there. So obviously and the red line. Tam, there you go. So we need to be where that dot is. Zoom in. We need to be where that dot is there. And we started walking away from it. So there we are, the little blue thing over here, look. And we need to be over there. We started basically walking towards the central Vienna, which I believe would have been about an hour and a half walk. And as much as I like a good walk, I want to get into the centres quicker than that. So let's try this again. If you're curious to know, by the way, the bus that we uh, took to get here cost 720 euros, but we rounded it to seven euros. Um, I'll put the euros, the, I'll put the, the equivalent in pounds and what. Pounds. But we ended up paying about two pound each, basically. So uh, not bad. It was how long the journey? About 15 minutes yeah so it's not not too bad it got us here and uh yeah just just the uh just the tram to go okay people so we'll show you how to purchase a ticket for the the trams so obviously we need to do it in english and let's do a 24 hour ticket 24 hours we need three <laughs> okay, I buy the ticket. So that's going to come up to 24 euros. We'll sort that in a minute. Eight euros each, if you're curious, for a 24 hour ticket. Okay, so if you're curious, when you get the ticket, this is the validation machine. So you put your ticket through there and it adds a, uh, a date and a timestamp. And that just confirms that you've validated your ticket for the journey. Okay, correction, so we're not on a tram, we're on a overground train. So we have to check if the uh, ticket still works on a uh, on all of the transport systems in the city. I'm hoping it does, otherwise we've just paid eight euros for one mode of transport. But uh, yeah, finally gonna make it into Vienna Central and the train is now leaving, so let's do it. So we've made it. We're officially in Vienna. What do you think, Kyle? It's all right so far. It's not bad, is it? Very nice. So what we're we gonna do, well, we're gonna go and have a look around first. Definitely go and get some food as well. And uh, yeah, just have a stroll around, see what Vienna looks like. And 
see if it's uh, if the buzz is real. But good start. Looks very good. You don't get very long to cross the uh, cross the traffic lines. I tell you. Look at that. Look. See. You get seconds. Guten Tag. Can I get a Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, super, super. I want two schnitzel sandwich and a donut kebab sandwich, please. Yeah. Thank you. Look at these. These are awesome, don't they? But thank you. Thank you. And schön sag noch thank you. There we go. So we got schnitzel sandwiches there. Got some mayonnaise in mine. Yeah. What's it like? It's roasting. You're boiling that. Got Kyle, you've got the doner kebab, haven't you, mate? What do you reckon? Look at the size of that. Better than English. Better than kebab. English. <laughs> nice. Like yeah, Tam's, nick, Tam's nicking some of his. Let's get our thoughts. Oh, wow. Yeah, you try that. Get a bit of the meat, yeah, why not? There we go, people. Oh, wow. Mmm. That's his sale liquor. Very good. Mm, that's really nice. So that came up to 1770. 17. 17. Yeah, so uh, tourist prices, but I don't mind too much. We're, we're quite hungry. And I'm about to have a schnitzel, schnitzel today. So, yeah. about five weeks. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Awesome. Really nice. Alright, so uh, we're here just outside of St. Stephen's Cathedral. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> it's the weird spelt version of Stephen. Stephen's Cathedral. And uh, wow, it is very, very nice. I, uh, I can see a few horses as well. We're not going to get on one of them. I don't personally agree with the idea of doing that myself. But uh, yeah. The classical architecture of Vienna is uh, finally here to behold. And uh, look at that. That is a rather impressive building, it must be said. Yeah, just generally a rather impressive street altogether, to be honest. Very nice. So, so far so good, man. It's a very, very pretty city. Lots of character, lots of charm. It's, it is your kind of typical European city as well in many ways. With a bit more kind of va va -voom, I guess you could say. But um, but yeah, I like it so far. It's very interesting. It's a lot cheaper than uh, Switzerland was as well, which is quite good. I think for the cost that we paid, the price that we paid for the free kebabs, it would have been about that in Switzerland. Tammy's signalling over to me saying that uh, a, uh, a fridge magnet she's looking for has got... You know, free, we always buy fridge, ma fridge magnets on this channel and uh, she's found for a fiver. We ain't paying that. So we've decided to stop for a little little, uh, little treat and uh, we've got a Esterhese torta, which is it's like a Hungarian style tort. We've got a Zako torta, which is like a chocolate, like an apricot tart. And then we've got an apple strudel, an apple strudel. And then I've got a Vienna style coffee. Carl has a nice black coffee and Tammy actually has a hot chocolate so you get a bar of chocolate. It's hot milk. Yeah. And you get a bar of chocolate, so you chocolate in your milk, leave it for about three to five minutes. And then you use the stirrer. Use and prod it so yeah. We're looking we're gonna get stuck in. We'll give you our thoughts after. Alright, so just finished the uh the Zaka tort and uh the well the other cakes as well. <laughs> and they were awesome. Um I think it's like what did it come up to you, Tam? Twenty six euros? 20, about 26 euros we put the conversions on the screen for you and uh, we paid about eight pound each pretty much because again we're all going halves so obviously we're having a third of each of these cakes and we're trying to share cut back the calories the walk up there was mental it was like 15 flights of steps it felt like it weren't quite that many but it did two feel floors. like it <laughs> two floors very far up but we're now on our way to our apartment so we're gonna go and check that out. But yeah, every street you go to in Vienna is just really, really squeaky clean and pretty. So let's go and have a look at this apartment and see if it's any good. Yeah, 
Right, made it to the apartment and uh, Kyle is rather desperate to go toilet, so I'll quickly show you the uh, bathroom. You're gonna love this. Have a look. Fucking tiny. <laughs> have this, you ready? <laughs> me and Kyle, me and Kyle are quite tall big guys. <laughs> We're not gonna have fun with that. And a little toilet there. I'll let Carl do his thing and I'll give you a, a little tour. Down. So, here's the bedroom. Oh, there we go. Nice little fan there, yeah, happy days. Uh, decent little bed. Nice and dark in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's good. The coffee. Oh, coffee machine. Good. Oh, they, have to, have they supply coffee. Sometimes you get coffee. A fridge door. A fridge, there's a fridge door. To a cupboard. <laughs> How deceptive. No, no coffee. Damn. Um, Under. Ah, oh, coffee. Yes. <laughs> Happy days. Little bed in here, which a Kyle will, uh, uh, he's going to do that. There's two of them together, but <laughs> I thought it was a double bed. There you go. Yeah. Not bad. There we go. This is the view from the apartment. Nice little old church. Yeah, not bad. This was cheap as chips. I'll put how much this place cost down shortly. Here we go. So that's uh, that's our first day in Vienna. Oh, a lovely picture as well. Just noticed that's Paris, by the way. So yeah, it's been a nice day. Uh, ripping the old Team McGrath merch. We're not selling it, don't worry. That's not a plug. <laughs> we just bought them for ourselves. Just so if people ask us what our channel is, we can just show them because when you try to answer it to another people, they're like, team, huh? What's that? And just point to it now, easier. But yeah, it's been a good day so far. Um, it's gonna get dark in a minute, so I'm gonna probably stop filming shortly, because uh, to be honest, footage outside when it's dark isn't all that good. But um, it's been a good day, yeah, the food's good. Um, we grabbed a Kaiser Kleiner on the way as well, which is like a, uh, um, what's it called? Like a hot dog a hot with dog cheese, cheese inside it. And they put it inside a, a bun. He was a really cool guy. He wasn't from Austria. I think he was. He was Greek, Greek, Greekish, Greek, Greekish. But he didn't speak much English, so we communicated in German the best we could. And uh, <laughs> I kept saying, "Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch, aber es ist schlecht." You know, this is this is my Deutsch is not so good. <laughs> But uh, I try, I try, I try my best. Um, I'm certainly no linguist, but it's good to know a few words. But yeah, so what's the plan from here? Well, so tomorrow we're actually gonna be going to a new country. So we're gonna be hopping on a Flix bus to a new country. And that Flix bus cost us four pound each. Each, four pound each. Absolutely, I, I love how she mentioned that each, like three people, four pound. They'll be out of this world then prices, but still very good deal. We're going to a different country. I'm not going to say. I want to keep that as a surprise. But we, you can see the whole Flixbus experience if you want to join us there. We've done Flixbus before. Our opinion of them is getting better. <laughs> We're having good experiences. So, uh, yeah. Join us then. And uh, hopefully you'll get to see our new country if you come and join that video. Which uh, should be out next week. If all permits. So, uh, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you watching our video today. We hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Dankeschön. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye.